Hey guys, this is your reading for September. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, and love. What's going on for Scorpio and love for the month of September? Scorpio in love. Please show me messages for Scorpio in love. Scorpio. Five of Cups. What's wrong? This is like feeling down in the dumps here. Feeling like, you know, you offered yourself or your emotions to someone and um, you were hurt. You're having regrets towards offering to someone and then possibly like rejecting you. Um, feeling very sorrowful, almost like a wasted effort. Um, a missed opportunity on somebody's part here. As I was pre-shuffling, I saw the Ace of Wands and the Four of Cups. And immediately what came to mind was rejecting somebody's offer, ignoring them. So maybe some of you guys, um, you know, when you had the opportunity to start over with someone or begin something with someone, you possibly turned it down. And now you're possibly having regrets over that. But let's see what's crossing you guys here. What's crossing Scorpio? The Knight of Wands. There's somebody that you feel like is not all in. Maybe this person was all in before. And now they're just kind of like whenever it suits them, they'll, you know, talk with you, entertain you or whatever. But they're not giving you what you are wanting at this point. And then I see the... Eight of Wands under there, um, having forward movement. You guys are really wanting to, you know, you want to see a significant change in this situation currently. Maybe you guys are just not on the same page. When one of you is ready, the other one's not. You know, that um, type of situation here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. More so Sagittarius than anything, but it could definitely be um, any other fire sign or any sign in general that's, you know, had this energy going on right now. What's the underlying issue for Scorpio? The Ten of Pentacles, wanting that committed relationship, that stable home, stable relationship here. That is what the issue is. What, you know, in your subconscious mind, it's like, I just don't want to be all over the place. I want to be settled. I want to be settled with someone. I want my home to be settled, my life to be settled. And um, that is what, you know, is, is like at the the back of your mind right now. What is the <clears throat> past issue for Scorpio? Past issue or past situation rather, recent past for Scorpio. Recent past for Scorpio. What was going on for Scorpio in the recent past? Ten of Cups. Hmm. You notice that we're going here from the past to now. So this is definitely a situation that you felt like it could have been not only a very committed relationship, but emotionally fulfilling relationship. Okay. And something in you has said, wait, you know, maybe this is the one. So what I'm getting here is like a runner and a chaser type of situation. The roles are reversed, whereas you guys were probably the runner before. And this person was trying to get like, you know, you to see them and settle down and, you know, just build upon this relationship. But I feel like at some point you guys were <clears throat> not, you know, really into that. Okay. And, um, you know, not that you didn't like this person, but I don't feel like you were all in and you didn't see things the way that they saw things. But now I feel like the role has been reversed to where, you know, you guys are kind of feeling like, you know, did I mess up something here? <clears throat> 
did I mess up something? Is this person going to come back? Are they going to offer me um, what they offered me before? Crowning thoughts for Scorpio. Crowning thoughts for Scorpio. The Queen of Pentacles. Want to take care of this person. Wanting to be involved in um, a relationship with this person. Wanting to um, you know, build this legacy with this person. If you notice that your your subconscious and your conscious mind are basically in sync. Okay, because you've come to a realization that yeah, this is what I want. I want somebody that, you know, is going to be there for me through thick and thin. I want to be in a committed relationship. For some of you, for some reason, I'm hearing, you know, it is time out for planning. I'm getting older, and um, this is what people normally do when they get older. They settle into um, a situation with someone that really cares for them, and that, you know, the it's reciprocated. And so, I see you guys um, having some regrets around a decision that you guys have made before about this person and wanting to change things up what's coming in for Scorpio what's coming in for Scorpio three of wands I see somebody waiting for you to approach I see somebody expecting you um, so if you guys are having like, if you're feeling like there's been a missed opportunity, that opportunity has not been missed. This person is expecting you. But notice I said expecting you because they're not coming towards you. They feel like they've done all that they can do. They're waiting on you to come towards them. It's what's going on. Aries energy there. How is Scorpio viewing this situation? How is Scorpio viewing this situation? The Emperor. You feel like you're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Because I'm feeling that you truly feel like there's nothing that you can do. Um, you're really not trying to be vulnerable at this point either. You have Aries very strongly here. Um, this person I feel is very, very strong. And you feel like you almost have to meet their strong personality and their reserve and their bullheadedness with their strong personality, with your strong personality and stubbornness and bullheadedness. Because it's like if you come any other way and show vulnerability then this person might eat you up so it's like you guys are kind of like in this pickle because you're feeling like you're going to be rejected for a lot of you um if you if you make an apology if that's what you need to do not saying that you do but if you come any other way than like full force and not wearing your heart on your sleeve that this person's going to take full advantage of that and bring you to your knees and you're just really not comfortable with that so it's like you're giving up you're giving up. I feel like you are waiting to see something from them that will give you an indication that it's okay for you to approach. What is the influence for Scorpio? Influence for Scorpio. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like your confidence has been... Um, lowered with this situation i do feel like you guys are very secure with your money um, in your home with your friends but i feel like you are missing this person i'm looking at this i stopped because i'm looking at this this squirrel with something over its head and maybe the acorn or what have you but 
it's like this squirrel has a reserve but he's so blinded that he doesn't know like the danger that he's in in losing his investment what he has and and that's all I could see here is like you guys are so close to having what you want but being that you have like this blindfold on regarding how you feel like this person is going to behave that is going to keep you from progressing in this situation now you'll be okay single for sure but this person does not look happy at all okay so i feel like you guys you want something back that you have is a thing here and on the outside, people feel like, you know, you guys are, you know, you're great being single and you may put on this face for people. But I feel like you're definitely longing um, for this person. You have Virgo, Aries. Um, I feel Capricorn, Pisces is here as well. What is the hopes or fears for Scorpio? hope look at that the sun that you can be happy that you can be happy by yourself I feel um, that you will gain your confidence back because there's something that's been lost and it's because of this connection with this person because of the on and off um, situation between the two of you the fact that y'all are like you know not together You want to be happy. I feel like you want, you know, just aside from a relationship, if you're not with this person, you want to know that you're going to be okay. You can be happy without this situation if need be. Leo energy there. What is the overall for Scorpio? Overall for Scorpio. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Huh. Now, you, if, you know, this is like an equal exchange of energy. But somebody's lacking here. Somebody is, is receiving more in a situation than the other. Sometimes people need more than one person to, to fill a void. And that's what I'm getting from this. That you guys... <laughs> that you guys will put yourselves in a situation where um, you're dealing with a couple of people to try and make one person taking bits from different individuals because you like different things about each one but you want all of this in one person and I feel like it's the person that you're having regrets surrounding. But I don't see you for the month of September, you know, trying to remedy what's going on here. I see you doing other things to try to placate um, the situation. Honestly. Okay. So we have um, Taurus energy present now. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.